I'm the disc golf guy. 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 And this is my video blog. I'm the disc golf guy, and this is my video blog. It is Tuesday night, just a few hours before the USDGC starts, and I am joined by our current amateur world champion, Steven Jacobs. Steven, Am Worlds is a pretty big deal. Congratulations on winning it in Emporia, Kansas, but what does it mean for you to come here and participate in the USDGC? Uh, it's pretty amazing that I actually qualified because uh, just winning the Am Worlds doesn't actually qualify you for the open point. So I actually did that at Pro Worlds where I placed 23rd. So I was really happy to get a good placing there. So I guess that's one way to do it. Win Am Worlds, then go qualify at Pro Worlds. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really not that tough, huh? Okay, maybe it was. All right, so tell everyone this being your first USDGC. Uh, just playing with the best players in the world. I got a taste of it at Pro Worlds, so I feel like the field here is even tougher to compete in so it's gonna be it's gonna be so a lot of fun playing the winter pro course what are you rated and follow up to that what are you hoping to shoot out here this week I'm rated 10 10 now I'm hoping to be probably like 64 63 under par okay under par, that's a, a good place to start. Well, we hope you're enjoying all of the action that you've been seeing. We also saw some of the biggest throws in the world uh, during the distance prelims, so you're gonna see some of that, and you're gonna see some more of the interview. So, here we are, it's Tuesday night. USDGC starts in just 12 hours. I'm the Disc Golf Guy, this is Steven Jacobs, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Dynamic Discs. Hi, I'm Eric McCabe, hole three at Winthrop University, and I throw my Lucid Truth. Just like that. Caught up with Michael Joe and Holly Finley. Michael, let's start with you. This was kind of a breakout event for you many years ago. Yeah, long time ago. Long time ago. What are you looking at this year? Uh, come out and have some fun with the new rules. That are a little more to my liking than what they were last year. So, a Anything in particular when you say the new rules? Just having a, at least a penalty when you throw out of bounds. You never throw out of bounds, so you're set. No, I definitely throw out of bounds. Oh. <laughs> and Holly Finley on the performance edition side. Holly, uh, it's been an exciting year for you. What are you thinking about here at the USDGC? Um, I'm definitely stoked to be here. It's my second year attending. Um, so I'm just looking forward to scoring well and having a fun time. And what are you projected at, score-wise? 86. And what are you really going to shoot? A 70. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just cash in the open side or something like that. All right, Michael, Joe, Holly, Finley, best of luck to you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Nate, what you doing? Looks like you got a cute little project going on over here. What's up? Well, last year we did the Inside the Ropes at the USDGC with Nate Doss. Val filmed it for me. It was just an idea we came up with uh, from seeing a few other documentaries really loved them so kind of went with it and I think you know last year's turned out pretty well especially in a frustrating year for me uh, we kind of made the decision in the very beginning to say no matter what happens let's let the tournament kind of tell the story so came back this year and Val's not playing the tournament again so uh, we're gonna do it again and hopefully the results are on the opposite side of what last year's results were but either way we're just we're basically just trying to give people a little bit of an insight taste of what it is like for a touring disc golfer to play in a tournament such as this one. You know, it's not it's not quite as easy as some people may think. You know, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and you know, it's I think it's nice for the fans to be able to see that that actually does happen to us and we are real human people and you know, we're not just the zombies out there playing tournaments. So. so to summarize, you're trying to take my job. No, I am. Valis. Yeah. Val, I, I don't ever want to do your job. You're editing, <laughs> you're filming, you're asking questions, all of this guy. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, well, <laughs> you know, I think it's good for everybody. It'll be good for me. It is. Maybe you can do it next year. Maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll look into this Val stuff. I'll direct and you can just film. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, to give you your final plug, where, where can everyone check this out? Everyone will basically be able to check it out on YouTube. That'll be the main, you know, place for it, but... Uh, if you just go to natedoss.com, 
slash videos they'll have the inside the ropes all right okay, thanks guys on. good Head luck and we'll Head see you guys <laughs> we'll see you guys inside the ropes okay. yes sir Nico Lacastro, you're one of the few people that's actually won this tournament before how do you prepare this week well, I've been here about two weeks early and I've played at least around every day I've been really healthy for the last few weeks so I just want to, uh, you know, stay confident in my shots and, and know that I have a chance to win this tournament. I've been here, I'm feeling prepared, and, and I'd really like to get my, my second USDGC title here. Anything with uh, either minor hole adjustments or with uh, the rule changes, anything that concerns you at all? Oh, uh, no, no concerns. Just try to stay out of my own head and, and leave myself position on the course and, uh, you know, don't, don't blow it early. And uh, when I'm there, just, just take care of business and uh, get my second title here. All right, best of luck to you this week. Thanks a lot. Patrick Brown, they've changed up hole five considerably. What are you going to do this year? Uh, basically, take it as straight, as flat with a T-bird as I can. Just get out in the middle, go down the middle again, and then over the water. I don't feel that the change takes that much from the hole. I just don't like losing the tradition of the fear factor of the first shot before off the regular tee pad. I mean, they made it shorter by like 46 feet, so I expect you to, what, three this? Mm, I'll probably play for the cautious <laughs> four, myself personally. All right, that's not how I do it, but best of luck this week. Thank you. Simon, we're here at the USDGC qualifying for distance. How far did you throw? I just threw 216 yards. Which is approximately 648 feet? Well, I'm from Europe, so I don't really know what a foot is. So it doesn't matter, okay. How many meters is that? I think it was 197.8, something like that. And what were you throwing, and uh, can you throw further? Um, I was throwing a Discmania DD2 in S-Line, and of course I can throw further. There's no wind out here. <laughs> uh, you'll probably be in the showcase finals with David Wiggins and some others. Uh, have you thrown over the lake before? Yes, I was here four years ago and I I wasn't in the finals, but I, I did it for fun and I made it actually. All right, and before you go, you got to give us one distance tip that everybody wants to needs to hear. Practice. <laughs> All right, there's Simon. We'll see him in the finals. Yep, thank you.